Hi, this is Steve. Let's take a look at the PO generator in Dynamics GP. The PO generator looks at static inventory levels, looks at current demand for inventory, and suggests purchase orders that you should create in order to satisfy that demand and meet your inventory requirements. So it's pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to run. Let's take a look at it. The setup involves going to every item and setting up specific attributes for that particular item having to do with PO generation. So let's take a look at an item here. I'm going to select this one here and go to the item resource planning window here. And you can see that I've got this set up to use the PO generator. If I had an order point that I wanted to set up, I would do that. In this case, I'm going to select the warehouse ID. And you can see here that I've got some order points set up, up to order level. And next what I want to do is go to the PO gen item. This brings up this screen here. This has different attributes about how this purchase order is going to be created. I can base a quantity on, on these items here. I can also select a vendor in various ways. And the cost for the item on the PO can be selected also in various ways. The quantities that it's going to look at are based on these attributes here. So it's going to look at static quantities for demand in sales orders, and if you select allocations, back orders, and requisitions. So the next thing you need to do is actually run the PO generator. So let's do that. So I'm going to hit OK here and go to purchasing. I'm going to run the PO generator here. And let's just take a look at a few products. I'm going to select a small range here. And then I'm just going to run the process. So it suggests these two items should be purchased. Now if I want to, I can change the vendor. I could change the price. I could change the quantity if I wanted to. But I'm just going to accept these defaults and then hit Generate Purchase Orders. It's going to show me a quick report of which items were generated into a purchase order. And you can see here I've got a purchase order where the one vendor includes these two items. So let's take a look at that purchase order. Go back to purchasing. Look at the purchase order here. And this was the purchase order that was generated from that process. So here, even here, I can still change the pricing if I want to. So what this allows you to do is easily look at your inventory requirements in your system, look at current demand, and then suggest purchase orders that need to be created, and then actually create those purchase orders for you. The PO generator functionality in Dynamics GP looks at static inventory levels, looks at current demand, current requirements in your inventory system. If you want to also include forecasts, you need to step up and look at the MRP functionality in manufacturing. But if you're just interested in what you have right now in your system, the PO generator is a good way to start and start planning your purchasing.